Trey 600 with a niggas who run it. Yeah. 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 Trey 600. Oh. 3600. Oh. Trey 600. Oh. 3600. Oh. Trey 600. Oh. 3600. Oh. Trey 600. Oh. Yeah. Trey 600 with a niggas who stories on somebody that uh and you, you you told a good one you know what i'm saying about uh about the niggas that couldn't fight but anybody that they mouth got them in a whole lot of shit you know what i mean oh man stop fucking playing nigga i'll make this one short and plain and simple you hear me mm -hmm. tell it from a crib nigga i was on my way to the penitentiary one time and i was i was handcuffed to this nigga and we was at, we was on the penitentiary bus. We was on our way to prison. This nigga was talking shit. I mean, this nigga had me fooled. This nigga made me think uh, this nigga. I'm I'm gonna rock with this nigga when I get down there. This nigga, this nigga heard big. This nigga heard stank. This nigga talk some shit. This nigga talk shit that I ain't never heard before. So you know, mainly when a nigga speak, you know, a little tougher than you, you know, sound a little flat. You kind of want to stop. I'm, I'm gonna stick with this nigga. But come to find out, that's all the fuck he had. <laughs> was a fire's goddamn mouth. The size and shit, the size the nigga, the mother nigga. Uh, let me tell you what we call it down here in my side of the town. We call it spit boxing. Nigga had a good spit boxing game. Then they had a game, the nigga roll up, the nigga scare you. Y'all look at the nigga's size, y'all be like, man, you fucking with that nigga. And guess what? He gonna push that. That nigga was scrub business. That nigga had me like, God damn, I'm rocking with, with the hunger when he get down there. And nigga was like, yeah, man, when I get down here, I wish one of these motherfucking wood. God damn, he such and such. Then they was like, shit. Me too, but see, weird thing about it, I meant it when I said it. <laughs> Excuse me, cuz. Yeah. I knew I was maybe, but not out of my nose, man. I meant it when I said it. I didn't know that he didn't. Right. But anyway, to make a long story short, when we got down there, this nigga talked so much, he said, man, one of these niggas ever fuck me, I'll kill one of these niggas. Then I'll kill one of these niggas, and I kept saying that nigga shit, I don't think this might kill somebody too. Man, this whole ass nigga had me sharp in the goddamn too, bro. That shit don't work, stupid motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Quit listening to that penitentiary talk sharpening two words. Bitch, you be down there a whole year trying to get that whole shot. <laughs> Kill a nigga. <laughs> nigga. So you get ready to use that other bitch gonna break on you, nigga. God damn, yeah. All that sharpening for nothing, stupid. But anyway, when I got down there, man, it's gonna be a, you know, it's gonna it's gonna kinda hit y'all a little bit. I'm gonna go and get off of here. But anyway, when I got down there with Steve, man, I mean, I didn't wanna say that. <laughs> I don't know why I keep slipping on these niggas' name, man. But when I got down there with the nigga, man, the nigga was talking shit. And we went to child together, man. The nigga, you know, I guess the nigga, the nigga cool. Man, later on that morning, see, I learned one thing, man. I keep telling you niggas. I try to educate you niggas. The loudest nigga in the room is the most scariest nigga in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just soak in that for a minute. Because that morning, when I went to breakfast, and I went to go get him to go to breakfast with me. Guess what I said? That nigga had, them niggas in there had that nigga little ass jacked up. I walked by that nigga said, and I looked in there, and I, and I glanced, and I, you know, and it shot me. Because one thing about prison, nigga, you see, but you don't see. Nigga, you hear, but you don't hear. You mind your motherfucking business, nigga. Right. But your bitch ass be jacked up in that old next, nigga. Right. Hello! Yes, sir. Sure. Go in and keep your mouth shit, nigga, for somebody put something in. One thing these niggas don't know, the tough niggas, them niggas been in there waiting on you little old 2023 niggas. They waiting on y'all. I always leave a lesson for the young niggas on every station I do. Right. Y'all learn from what I just said because they waiting on young niggas just like y'all. Them niggas been in there since the 60s. Huh. Since the 70s. Huh. Since the 80s. Huh. Since the 90s. <laughs> huh. Since the 20s. Huh. They been waiting on you young uh -huh. sagging ass niggas. You get down there and pull them pants past your ass and walk around. They waiting on y'all. Ask me how I know. How you know? I seen them waiting on them. <laughs> <laughs> I looking at them ass niggas. They looking at them young niggas ass walking in there. Looking at them young niggas go to the shower. Looking at them niggas in the shower. Them young niggas don't know. They ass in trouble. And y'all niggas come down there thinking they cool and one of them walk down, slap the shit out of them like that nigga did that nigga at the airport and guess what? Them young niggas ain't gonna fight. Them niggas ain't gonna do shit. They gonna do exactly what that young nigga at the airport did. Huh. Right. And guess what? As soon as you don't fight back, watch how I hit that cigarette. 
they watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Man. Them old, them old niggas watching. You got to watch how I hit that cigarette on there. Yeah. As soon as you don't fight back. Mm-hmm. That's it. You know you done fucked up, don't you? Mm-hmm. You know you done fucked up, don't you? Now pick up your cell phone. Go pick it up. Ooh, now pick it up again. <laughs> yeah. Pick it up that way next time. <laughs> next time you're going to kick it over there so you go pick it up again. Yeah. You just want to see you bend over and pick it up. That type of shit. <laughs> this nigga Earl, man. Boy. Anyway, uh, it gets serious like that. Let that be a lesson to you young niggas, man. If that shit can happen to the world in the world again, just yes, yeah, imagine and he a stepper. Yeah. Oh, he a slider. Oh, he made drill music. Oh, he a killer. That nigga just got slapped. And what happened to his killer Dean? Uh-huh. Where's the stepping Dean? Right. Where's that strap with the long dick on? Where was his killer instinct at? Because he got slapped. He should have been killing something. Because they'll kill a nigga for nothing. But that nigga just slapped you and you didn't do nothing. That's a fact. Hold on, hold on. Stay right there. All right, then. Bars, man. Bars. That's crazy. Now, this, like I said, this was an iconic live, man. Hey, I, y'all know I appreciate everybody rocking with us, man. Y'all know how we coming, man. We coming with the content. And, you know, we trying to bless y'all like y'all bless us. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's <coughs> here, man. Oh, gee, uh, you got anything to say before we get up out of here? Man, I love you, Trey Six Hondo. Tell uh, peace you. I wish you could have stayed on the live, man. Uh, it's 1,000. I'm glad you hooked up with him. I see you hooked up with Diamond Stone. The nigga is pushing. Uh, yes, sir. I did tell peace you when we was in the penitentiary. Guess what? Nigga, we finna go from the cage to the stage, nigga. You just rock with me. And guess what? It's been a little time, and we've been from the cage. Now, we on the stage, nigga. Yes, sir. Nationwide right now. So, uh, I thank God. You know, for giving me to know, I never knew that my life of pain would be end up being my life. You know what I'm saying? Testimony. You dig what I'm saying? I didn't know my life, everything God took me through, He took me through for a reason for this moment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Me, I was like, God dang. What the fuck would you waiting on, God? Shit. You <laughs> to a butterfly? You want me to turn to a butterfly? I've been in this cocoon for years. You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. me? But uh, one thing I know about God, He always on time. Yes, he ain't sir. never let you know what he's doing when he do it. You dig what I'm saying? So uh, if he'd have, he'd have gave it to me back then, I probably wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? So he know when to um put something in your hands and you ain't going to fuck it out. Because no, he bad. know you. He know you when you yeah. get <laughs> that no, no, you, Yeah, you know yourself. Yes, Lord. That's a fact. That's a fact. Well, hey, man, say, man, it's your boy, Trey 600, Quentin TV, OG Percy, man. Y'all get us the 20K likes, man. I mean, get us the 20K subscribers, man. That's what we're trying to do. Yo, y'all know the dude, Trey 600. Y'all know what we have. We need that 20 subscribers, man. We need that 20, man. Y'all help us get that 20K on them subscribers, man. Get them subscribers up like Trey say, man. Yes, one sir. One man. Hey, man, say, man. This was a good one, man. Hey, I appreciate the love. Hey, No doubt. Hey, me telling you are.